pictures? Yeah. Okay. Pictures. I got a better camera for pictures. This is just for video right now. So how old is uh, Lanoa now? Lanoa is just over a month old. She was born May 22nd. It's May... No, it's June 25th. So just over a month. And what's the number one thing that you have learned becoming a parent? <laughs> Letting go. <laughs> Letting go? <laughs> Letting go. Surrendering to the process. And we are totally on Lanoa's schedule now. Uh -huh. My schedule is out the window. Yeah, well, your schedule's gone forever. Yeah, exactly. That's it. You had That's your, a big lesson. <laughs> you had your own schedule for 33 years. Yep. That's a pretty good run to have your own schedule. Now it's all Lanoa's schedule. And what about sleep? How's that affected sleep? Sleep? Uh, I'm up at least twice a night. Sometimes. Well, usually up at like 2.30 and then up at 5.30. On a good night. On a night where she's fussy, we're probably from 4 a.m. till around 7 in the morning. Um, you get to catch up during the day? Yeah. Yeah, we got great, great support, grandparents and papa. So, it's a balance. And what about some of the challenges you've had with her, like things that have come up that you didn't know about? And oh, the gas. She's had bad gas which makes her very uncomfortable and uh, it has to do I believe with what I'm eating so I'm working on changing my diet cutting some things out that I think is affecting her uh -huh. and it seems to be working uh -huh. so that is what's uh, causing her to stay awake at night we're gonna end up putting this on the blog with subtitles oh yeah so for mothers in Japan who are now pregnant or women who are thinking about becoming pregnant what's the best advice you can give about the whole process of having the pregnancy for nine months and then giving birth what's the best advice oh so many things I can say well I think it's really important to stay balanced and uh, to take care of yourself Really take care of your body, watch what you put inside your body, on your body, because everything goes to the baby. Take a lot of time to... How does everything go to the baby? Well, through your skin. Any products that you put on your body goes through your skin, any chemical, any uh, anything that's not organic or natural basically goes into the skin and to your baby. So. Just really watch what goes in your mouth and on your skin and even detergents and things like that. Just really be aware. And you you and Al, your husband, stopped drinking more than a year ago? Yep. We Was that conscious at the time that it might be connected to pregnancy or...? Well, we were actually trying to get pregnant previous to that. And uh, we quit drinking for our own personal reasons. We weren't really thinking, you know, let's quit and let's have a baby. It was more like we quit and then the baby came mm -hmm. right after that. Mm -hmm. so I there think could be a connection there. Yes. So that's what I would suggest. And really take time for yourself because uh, that time is going to disappear pretty quick once you <laughs> have your baby. So, so when you're pregnant, take plenty of time yeah, for yourself. Be outside, be around nature, have a quiet time and, and uh, time for reflection. That's what and I you did a lot of reading too, though. You did a yeah, lot of studying. I did a lot of studying. I read a lot of, uh, a lot of books and uh, checked out information on the internet. Talked to other mothers. Um, learned a lot about uh, all kinds of things. For example. Well, I read a lot about how to get through labor. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to have my baby home at home. And uh, I wanted to know exactly what was going on instead of somebody else telling me what was happening. Mm -hmm, like a doctor. Yeah, so in that sense, I knew what was happening, which helped me to not be afraid, which helped me to really be open throughout the process, which is, I think, the most important thing in giving birth is not resisting. 
So that was very important and I learned a lot about nutrition and all kinds of stuff. So I would say educate yourself. And then when you did have the baby, you had Lanoa in water. T tell yes. us a bit about that. Well, for me, it seemed natural because they're floating in water in your belly. So I thought it would be the smoothest uh, transition for Lanoa to come into this world. And uh, it was actually really helped with the labor with um, to feel weightless and supported mm -hmm. by the water. So... And you had, tell us about how you did it in water. You had like a, a kid's uh, swimming pool in no, your living room? We actually had a specific um, pool for giving birth. In, uh -huh. A birth pool that was ordered. And it was great because it had handles that you can hold on to. Oh, wow. It's nice. You can lean over the edge. And uh, it was deep enough to cover myself with water. So. How long were you in it before Lenoa was born? Well, I actually went in it twice. For me, my labor was long. It was 20 hours. I did a lot of walking and bouncing and moving around throughout the whole time. And uh, I went into the pool when I got really exhausted and tired. So I would take a break in the pool, but it really helped for me.